Good morning, channel. It's Fernando from SkyFi Audio. It is uh, the first week of January of 2022. We're happy to be here. It's been a crazy last quarter of the year. Um, sales have been through the roof, and um, especially since about early November, and tons of things keep coming and leaving the shop. So this is our monthly um, new arrivals video where I feature, um, you know, I kind of quick quickly walk through the shop and feature what's arrived. I'll point it out, the model number, uh, any history I know on it. And uh, so we'll, I'm gonna go right, jump right into it. I'm gonna go through the whole shop and, and give you a taste of what, what's, uh, <laughs> what's arrived recently. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It helps us uh, stay motivated and take the time to make these for you. So first, um, these Kensington Tannoy speakers, absolutely beautiful, vintage looking remakes um, from Tannoy's best era. So these are the Kensington model. They're absolutely stunning. Let me uh, take the grill off so you can get a better look. You see coaxial, uh, typical Tannoy fascial. It's got a coaxial woofer and tweeter, beautiful cabinet work, um, a nice tweed-like uh, vintage fabric on the grills. These sound absolutely amazing, great, great imaging, and um, great detail, much higher detail than, let's say, uh, an Arden uh, from, you know, the 70s. So this is already listed on our website if you want to get a better look at it. Uh, standing right here is a set of uh, Magnapan timpanis uh, absolutely vintage 1970s, early 80s, three panel speaker. Yes, that is in fact a pair of speakers. Um, I believe there's a, a tweeter panel in one of these and then a set of woofer panels. Uh, so you can use them as a room divider as well as a really good sounding set of speakers. This would have been sold together with an audio research amp probably back in the, in the 70s, early 80s. Uh, these came from a, a good client of ours that upgraded to another set of Magnapans. So I don't have these listed, but I do have another pair online if you uh, are interested in knowing more about them. But you can imagine with three panels per side, their ability to fill a room and their ability to soundstage. It's really, really impressive. Uh, down below, if you're a fan of our channel, you've probably seen the, the video of our uh, original BMW Nautiluses. I bought these for a good client of ours. So they already have a home and uh, we'll be going there soon. So the BMW Nautilus speakers. Uh, let me pan around. Oh, here's a set of um, BMW Matrix speakers. These are early 802s. I don't know the exact series, uh, but these are gonna get refinished and reworked so they look uh, splendid. Uh, the hoods are kind of ugly, but once you remove it and you expose more of the sort of 1980s look, it's gonna be a fine speaker. All right, here's a set of Rogers that have sold going out. I'm gonna just make an adjustment to my camera. There we go. All right, panning over this way, uh, I've got a set of Martin Logan Montes. These are electrostatic with woofers in the bottom. And the ability for these to throw a realistic sound stage and really perform well with vocals and strings and, and sort of light jazz. Really, really great speaker for that, hard to beat. Here's a set of um, JBL uh, Studio Monitors 4412s. These are already sold. We had about five or six pairs. This is the last one. So if you were looking out, you've, you've missed out. Um, coming around to Bay 2. Let's see, last week I did a video on this amazing J Quarter. Uh, Techniques of Self uh, RS 1520 reel to reel. Haven't listed that yet, but it's coming soon. And these are new uh, Macintosh XR100. These are current generation speakers. Uh, these will be available in a couple of weeks. Uh, we're doing some work to the left channel to get it uh, ready to ready to sell. Uh, this is an in-store purchase only, uh, but let us know if you're interested. We'll put you on the list. I think we have one or two people already on it that spotted that in the last video. It's just amazing how people can spot things in our shop and then ask about them. Um, these are pretty neat as well. 
uh, Basso Continuo um, amp stands. There's actually two of them. They're stacked together, but they're finished in uh, green stitching and black leather. This is um, essentially to go with a Macintosh uh, piece of gear. Probably a set of monoblocks, maybe uh, some 1 to 1.2 Ks or 601 monoblocks or 611s. This is a perfect amp stand because of the stitching and the black, and it's got this sort of Macintosh look. So these are already up on our website. All right, moving over. Here's our sad MBL, still waiting for an answer from MBL, whether they're gonna help us with replacement parts. It's really hard to, uh, to get support out of Germany, and it's been a dis little disappointing so far, but we hope to have some good news on, on these. Uh, I did a part one on the restoration, and now I'm stuck waiting for parts. So MBL, please help us out. Um, on Bay 3, there's only one new addition here. Oh, these Sumiko uh, S.9 uh, subwoofers we sold two already. We've got six of them left. Great, great to buy a pair of them to, to put in a, in a room for a stereo setup. Let me show you a better angle. It's a bit dark and hard to see, but... And then moving over here to the Clear Audio Performance DC turntable. This is um, a highly upgraded. It's got a a step up on the on a tone arm from from stock. It's got an acrylic cover, and uh, they're a really nice quality record clamp as well. So performance DC from Clear Audio. Uh, if you go into our website under collections turntables, you'll find this guy. On the Macintosh Wall of Sound, um, it's looking pretty light. We've sold so many pieces, probably 15 of them over the last um, month or so. We're really low on amplifiers. As you can see, this is generally filled. This whole row here is filled with tube amplifiers. Uh, we've got left a pair of uh, MC30s that were totally restored. We've got another, this looks to be a 240. No, that's a solid state, it's a 2100. Um, this commemorative edition MC275, that's a beautiful piece right there. And this is that single channel special model that we've got as well. So pretty low on Macintosh inventory, but we were working on a bunch of things. Uh, up top, our Sakara collection, we sold two of them this month, but we still have quite a few of them left. Uh, it's the world's greatest tuner, if you're not familiar with it. All right, moving over this way. Um, some remnants from past videos. Here's the Nakamichi set that I did a great video on. It's got a ton of views on it. And this is the part of the Sony system that I did a video on. So I'm mentioning these in case you're interested in going back in time and, and checking them out. Um, oh, sneak peek here. We've got a, the Continuum a Caliber turntable that I'm um, bringing back to live. This should go on the market in the next uh, couple of weeks. That's the power supply that just came back from getting uh, restored. And then over here on our workbench, a couple of neat things. Um, I had some time over New Year's and I put together this super pimped out uh, Lin LP12 uh, with our in-house custom um, maple plinth uh, and essentially all new materials everywhere. This is all Moser upgrades. So a new aluminum top plate, a new aluminum arm board, SME tone arm, uh, a new upgraded platter, an inner platter, you name it. This thing is very little uh, left from the original LP12. Here's some of the remnants from the from parts and even an outboard um, power supply with speed controller right here, actually right there. Acrylic cover, so this will hit the, our store in the next week. Here's another Dragon, fully restored. This has already a client attached to it, so we're doing some final, some final long-term testing as we do with everything. Here's a list of all the components that were replaced on it. We're talking belts, rollers, capacitors, you name it. We got a, you can see what, how much effort goes into restoring a dragon to getting it to, to the level it needs to be. Let's see, here's a name, a media streamer that just sold. It's waiting to go out. Um, this is an interesting turntable here. Um, haven't gone through it yet, just arrived. This is started, believe it or not, as a Roxanne Xerxes turntable that's been uh, upgraded, 
absolutely to the top. We can try planar tone arm, Delron clamp, Delron double plinth, outboard power supply, outboard speed controller, you name it, even uh, this copper outer ring record clamp. So I'm looking forward to spending time, some time and getting to know this turntable and preparing it to go to market. Let's move over to the sh uh, shop. This uh, Music Hall MMF 5.3 sold right away. It's getting fitted with a Sumiko cartridge. The client is debating between uh, the brand new Blue Point number three or going maybe a little step up higher to the Starling. So this is sitting on our calibration bench, uh, waiting to get the cartridge installed, calibrated, and packed up. All right, down below, Macintosh MC302. Uh, that's already been listed. Uh, we've got a really cool Luxman uh, integrated amp or a receiver. Haven't gone through that yet. And check this out. First in our shop, Musetex um, Magnair system. Never had one of these before. There's actually two systems hidden here. A uh, set of monoblocks with a preamp and then a stereo amp with a preamp as well and all the remote control gadgets that go with it. Uh, look at this wired remote, how cool is this? Even has rotary volume controls on it. That's interesting. Never seen one of these before, so looking forward to playing with that. Then, let's see, on Ben's bench, we've got a Macintosh uh, C48 that just arrived, waiting for testing and, and fine tuning. And then on my bench, I've got this DCS stack that I'm going through. Probably the most complicated CD player ever made. Um, I'm actually still missing one of the pieces that's in storage. This is a five piece or let's say four piece um, CD player from the 90s. Probably the most complicated CD player ever built. There's a clocking, upsampling, DAC, SACD, you name it, it's all built in there. And it takes forever to understand how to configure it and all the wiring options. So that's on my bench. So a so gentleman bought the DAC and I'm going through it, uh, checking a few functionality things for him and making notes on how to properly set it up. And that's it. Up on the lift, uh, the M345, last video, I couldn't remember what it's called. It's called an M345 for M3, four doors, five speeds. Uh, that's done completely. That's going leaving the shop this week and our new acquisition, which is a, a 540i uh, Touring from BMW from 9, 2003 is coming in for a bunch of work. And I think that wraps up this month's arrivals. Uh, you can check out everything else on skyfi.com, our website. And uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. And uh, stay tuned for more.